Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here. Welcome back to Vortex Gaming and Reacts. Uh, guys, it's been a hot minute since I made a video on this channel. Uh, I, I had some problems that I had to uh, take care of. Hopefully soon I will start to make videos again, which will be my usual stuff like horror stuff, games and stuff like that. But in today's video, I want to talk about something really important because it's getting crazy and uh, actually uh, annoying for me. To, to see what happens uh, right now on YouTube. And it's all about Mr. Beast. Obviously, uh, if you don't know the story and what happened, I'm not going to stay here and explain the whole thing uh, from the beginning. So there's been a lot of hate uh, recently against Mr. Beast. Everything started with Chris, one of his former employees, um, who all, we all know him. If you watch uh, Mr. Beast uh, videos, you know who he is. And he's been doing some sketchy stuff you know talking with kids on discord and stuff like that and obviously a lot of people they came out now okay which is weird and we're gonna talk about this in a second but everyone is coming out now they try to uh dig some shit on mr beast instead of chris okay and uh, make him uh, look like a bad person on uh, youtube who's making a lot of weird stuff uh taking advantage of kids and stuff like that and to me it's Honestly, it's fucking stupid, okay? I don't understand. Uh, there's a lot of people. Everything started with this dude, I think, a little bit. Not everything with him, but uh, he was the one that uh, uh, bring out the situation about Mr. Beast. He says he's a former employee of uh, Mr. Beast. He made this video with over almost 7 million views, okay? Uh, when he's trash-talking Mr. Beast... Uh, saying that everything he's doing is fake videos. You can see on the screen here. Uh, I'm not going to play the video. I really don't want to condone this uh, this behavior from other content creators. I don't know who this guy is. I've never seen him in any uh, Mr. Beast video. Uh, maybe he was in some, somehow in the background doing some other work. I don't know who the fuck he is. Um, he's talking about Mr. Beast, saying that he's faking videos. Um, he's doing a lot of illegal lotteries, selling fake signatures. You can see here. Uh, feastables talking about feastables we're gonna cover some of these uh, topics in a second but my question is how the hell nobody's talking about <laughs> the goods that mr beast is doing right you can go on mr beast philanthropy which is one of his channels and there's tons of videos where you can see a lot of good stuff that he's doing right uh we gave every family in the village a full year salary we rebuild the village uh, we build the town uh, we powered the village in Africa. Um, we brought water to Kenya. There's a lot, a lot of this. Good. Giving food for free, giving supplies. And this is just on the philanthropy um, channel. But you can go on the main channel as well, where there's a lot of videos where uh, giving 10,000 presents to kids for Christmas, buying food and stuff like that. Why nobody's talking about this? Okay. Why this dude? Who the fuck is this dude, first of all? <laughs> okay. My question is this one. And why he came out now okay if you guys have um, have come across my channel before uh one of the things that i do on this channel is basically watching uh youtube videos with ghosts and monsters and creatures stuff like that and i try to debunk them right and see how real or fake they are now in this situation i'm gonna apply the same uh method that i'm applying on my other videos so i'm talking i'm looking at some stuff about mr beast and i try to understand what's the reasoning behind it right so again everything started with uh chris and now all of a sudden the whole attention and uh bad feelings they've been pointed towards mr beast right again former employees coming out uh saying that he he is fake he's taking advantage of uh kids he knew about chris talking with uh, minors on uh, discord uh, everyone is on uh, Twitter, everyone is sharing like uh, some conversations from Mr. Beast with Chris, uh, talking about some kids and stuff like that, which, let, let's be honest, guys, you know that this is internet, right? You know that a lot of this shit can be faked, okay? Uh, one of the things that I realized during uh, my videos where I'm debunking these uh, ghost videos is that a lot of them are fake, okay? Like 90% of them. So what makes you think that this shit is not fake? Again, all these former employees, where they have been a couple of years ago when all this shit was happening, right? 
why none of them was talking like this dude here or uh, the other guy uh, jake uh, the viking whatever the fuck is his name as well everyone now is coming out uh since this uh, chris uh, problem started everyone is coming out all the former employees and they start to trash talk uh, mr beast and my question is why why now why all of a sudden all this shit is happening and before none of them was saying anything like <laughs> what was the reasoning behind it am i the only one who thinks this is all uh, a bunch of bullshit either for attention from uh, these people they want some attention you know think about this if you work for a, an employer right let's say you work for a couple of years you've been fired when someone comes to you and asks you, okay, what do you think about your uh, former employee, whatever the fuck is the name, right? Uh, what you're going to say about him? Are you going to talk nice? No, you're going to trash talk him, right? Because, you know, you worked for him, he fired you, and now you have some bad feelings. And I think that's what happens here. Everyone thought, uh, everyone started with uh, Chris, but now they take advantage of this just to get some uh, views on the... On their channel like this dude with has 119,000 subscribers which i think half of them they are uh, they come from all these views that he got like six million views or whatever uh, you probably can't see this because of my camera but let me show you here okay so i'm pretty sure a lot of his subscribers and everything came out from this video where he's trash talking mr beast okay obviously because he couldn't do it on his own and now he wants to uh uh, take advantage of the situation and come out and talk and all of a sudden he knows everything like how the fuck man it's pissing me off so much because he's trash talking a person who's been doing a lot of good stuff on his life and he has no reason for that except maybe uh, get some views and attention on youtube and on his channel right uh he's talking about the festivals for example where he's saying that oh uh mr beast is trying to uh increase the diabetes on in on kids right like how is that a problem first of all <laughs> you know we all the shit that we eat and drink nowadays i don't think that's an issue okay uh if you want to drink uh, eat the chocolate you eat it obviously he makes the excuse that uh mr beast made this uh, stuff where uh, if you buy the uh, the chocolate you can scan the qr code and you can win ten thousand uh dollars for whatever it is and uh, that's how he's enhancing people to buy his chocolate and increase the diabetes in kids i think that's absolutely stupid there's another section here uh, i think it's this one where he's uh, signing like uh, uh mr beast is doing a live stream where he's signing some t-shirts and he's saying that uh he's making kids buy these t-shirts so he can make money and a lot of kids which by the way Mr. Beast has, uh, at the moment, like 300 million um, subscribers, I think, right? Let's uh, let's double check just to make sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, 307 million subscribers. But this guy, is make, it makes it sound like 300 million of these subscribers are all kids. And Mr. Beast, he's taking advantage of 300 million people, uh, which are all kids, selling them t-shirts. Like... I, this is so fucking stupid and it's pissing me off so much because uh again this guy he has nothing to do with uh with the situation right all he's doing right now he's trying to take advantage of mr beast and uh his career obviously there's a lot of people making videos now about mr beast uh trash talking him uh like this one 500 messages leaked mr beast involved like obviously these people they want some attention Honestly, I don't care about this attention. I'm going to make this video. I'm going to leave it here. I don't want anyone to subscribe watching these videos. Okay, please do not subscribe. I'm not making this video to get attention on my channel and get subscribers and stuff like that. I'm making this video simply to make people understand because a lot of comments on these videos, they're really bad. And I don't want people to, uh, to engage in these situations. Okay, again, a lot of people are making videos trying to take advantage of this shit and they shouldn't okay it's it's stupid and it doesn't make sense if you want to i don't know get upset with someone go fuck with me chris whatever he did stop trash talking a dude who's been doing a lot of good stuff uh for communities for countries for people uh for youtubers everything okay and this dude here and all these other former employees who are making these videos they should go and delete all these videos because 
it, it, it doesn't make sense. Okay, it doesn't make sense that this guy comes here. Um, first of all, he's one of the most boring people to uh, listen to when I was watching his video because I wanted to know what the fuck he's talking about. He he was so annoying just to listen to him talking. Okay, but again. He's just trash talking uh, Mr. Beast throughout the whole video, implying that he's doing a lot of sketchy stuff. And I just think he's taking advantage of the situation. And uh, it's just stupid, okay? Like, Mr. Look, even Asmongol, he's reacting to this dude. Look at his face. Like, he knows this dude is just a stupid guy who wants to trash talk Mr. Beast. And a lot of the other uh, former employees, they're just trying to take advantage of the situation and make some views and uh, on YouTube and subscribers, okay? Again, I don't say go and uh, believe everything that you see on YouTube, but what I'm saying is go and watch uh, some of the Mr. Beast actual videos, right? Cleaning the ocean, um, I don't know, change people's life, giving them food, building houses for poor people. That's the stuff everyone should focus on. All this other bullshit, okay, all these videos here, of course there's fucking fake. Everyone's saying, oh my god, he's faking his videos. Of course. That's part of the entertainment. Who the fuck thinks that Mr. Beast is not faking his videos? Okay? Who's that? I want to know that person. It's like uh, cu curing people, deaf people, or blindness, or uh, nah, blind people, uh, deaf people. Like, all these good parts, nobody's talking about this. Why is, isn't this dude talking about this in his video? Why he's not saying, okay, he's been doing all this sketchy stuff, um, I don't know, uh, faking his videos, uh, trying to sell products to, to kids, even though, again, 307 million people uh, subscribe to Mr. Beast. They're not all kids, okay? Probably, I don't know, 50 million of them, but there's 250 million people who are not kids, okay? So stop fucking saying, like, he's taking advantage of kids with his videos when he's not, okay? Uh, and if somehow all these kids, let's say they're all kids and they actually uh, got involved in buying these t-shirts for $40 or whatever. He, I, again, I don't want to watch the video and show you guys the video. You can go and uh, watch it on your own if you want. I'm not going to share the link because I don't want to uh, make this guy even more famous. All I'm saying is if these kids actually bought all these t-shirts, it's because their parents allowed them. Okay? No kids... Uh, go around having a credit card on their in their pocket, uh, buying stuff online without parents' consent. Okay, unless they they try to do it uh, behind uh, on their behind their back, right, and uh, try to buy this stuff. But if their parents allows them to buy these T-shirts, then it's not Mr. Beast's fucking problem. Okay, if you as a parent allow your kid to go and buy the festivals every fucking day uh, just to win those 10,000 pounds and eat the chocolate, maybe most of them they don't even eat the chocolate, okay? Maybe they just buy it just for the uh, to scan the QR code and uh, win the $10,000. Maybe they don't care about uh, eating that chocolate, that much chocolate, right? Maybe they just crash it or throw it away or I don't know what they're doing. But it doesn't mean that all this bullshit is real. So people need to stop fucking around with uh, Mr. Beast. Let the dude... <laughs> go back to his normal life and do whatever he's doing because he's doing it good in my opinion i don't think i i really don't see any problem with this dude okay even if he knew about the chris situation like i i don't know because we don't know that okay how do you know that he knows about that do you think all everything is real on youtube or uh, on discord or stuff like that shit can be faked every single day guys okay you can take any picture or any image of a conversation on discord and modify it to make it look like uh i'm saying something bad to someone okay and given the fact that a lot of people are coming out now trying to um how can i say to trash talk mr beast and get some attention on their channel I, I'm pretty sure 90% of what of, of the all the shit that I'm seeing now on uh, YouTube about Mr. Beast, it's all fake. Okay. Again, you shouldn't uh, go and watch and believe everything that these people say. I don't know. Again, the whole story. I have a life. I don't want to uh, spend hours and days uh, digging this shit on anyone. I don't care about Chris what he did. Uh, I mean, it's not like I don't care. He's been doing something wrong. Go trash talk him if you want, but uh, stop fucking around with Mr. Beast, let the dude <laughs> alone because 
it's stupid. It's just stupid. And again, all these people, like uh, this guy here, he should go fucking back in his hole and uh, stop making these fucking videos, okay? Anyway, uh, I I finally let myself out because honestly, I wanted to talk about this for uh, for a while. I kept uh, waiting a little bit just to see what else is coming out, and I, I but I don't want to wait anymore. This is gonna be the first and the last video about Mr. Beast. Unless, I don't know, something really bad happens uh, or something really good happens, okay? And then maybe I will make like a, an updated version of the whole situation. But for now, I'm not going to keep making videos about this. I don't want to grab my attention for the wrong reason on my channel. My channel is about games, reaction videos, horror stuff, not about this stuff. I just wanted to share my opinion because, I again, I think it's really stupid. And it doesn't make any fucking sense what's going on at the moment. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, don't subscribe, okay? Just watch the video if you want. You agree with me, you don't agree with me, leave your comments in the section, whatever you want. I really don't give a shit, okay? Even if people will come on my uh, uh, video and trash talk me or Mr. Beast, I really don't give a shit. At the end of the day, I'm just a small guy uh, trying to uh, find some justice in this fucking world, okay? Anyway, uh, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.